Installing mods on a Project Zomboid server can help enhance the gameplay experience by adding new content, features, and mechanics unavailable in the base game. In today's video, we're going to go over how to install mods on a Project Zomboid server. We'll first go over how to install these mods with a preset, then we'll go over an error that you might run into when trying to join the server with mods enabled. To install mods using presets on Project Zomboid, we're first going to launch Project Zomboid. Then from the main menu, we're going to choose Workshop. And then we're going to select the Open Steam Overlay to Spiffo's Workshop. Then we're going to subscribe to any of the desired mods we'd like. Then we can return back to Project Zomboid and click Back. Then open the Host menu. And from the Manage Settings button, we're going to select Create New Settings. We can then enter a desired name. It's whatever you would like here. Then hit Next. Then we're going to go to the Steam Workshop tab. And we're going to add the desired mods that we subscribed to earlier. Once we've done so, we can choose the Save button. And it'll say where it's saved. We're going to go to the local directory listed on the server settings. Once here, we're going to see that server name that we listed, .ini. And we're going to open that .ini folder with Notepad. And on the Mod Equals line, we're going to copy the list of mods after that equals sign. Then on the workshop items line, we're also going to copy the IDs for these. You can just copy and paste these into another document so you can have them separated. Once we've copied both of those, we can log into our Bicycle Toasting Starbase panel and we're going to choose our Project Zomboid server. Then we're going to stop the server and we're going to go to the Files tab. Then we're going to go into the .cache folder, then the Server folder. Then we're going to open the .ini file that is labeled depending on what your save config name is. By default, it's Project Zomboid Server .ini. In here, we're going to look for the mod equals line, and we're going to paste in the mods that we copied, not the mod IDs, but the mod names that we copied from the early document. And then we're going to go to the workshop items, and we're going to paste in those IDs that we copied from earlier. Once we have those pasted in, we're going to choose the Save Content button. Then we can go back to the Home tab, start our server, and we'll have installed mods with a preset through Project Zomboid. Now we'll go over how to fix the anti-cheat error on a Project Zomboid server. First, we're going to log into our Bicycle Toasting Starbase panel and choose our Project Zomboid server. Next, we're going to choose the Stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the Files tab. And we're going to go into the .cache folder, then the server folder. In here, we're going to open the .ini file that is labeled depending on the save or config name on the startup tab. By default, this is Project Zomboid Server .ini. Once we've done so, we're going to go to the Anti-Cheat Protection Type 12 line, which by default is around line 351. We're going to change this from true to false. Once we've done that, we can choose the Save button. Then we can go back to the Home tab, start our server, and we'll fix the mod anti-cheat error on our Project Zomboid server. Thanks for watching, and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.